Hi guys, how are you all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. So it is now time for our weekend um, evening Bitcoin wrap up. So straight over to the charts. Um, so yeah, as you guys can see, we have um, again we wicked up above that above that little box of resistance that we've got here. Um, and as yeah, as you can also see, we struggled to stay over it. Um, came back under. We're testing the box from the underside again. Um, I believe this is where we we're looking this morning. Was this candle under here that was looking to try and get in, try and get into the into the into the upper box, but um, was struggling. But yeah, we we broke above again, got rejected, and we are right this moment looking like we're maybe gonna try again. Bitcoin pushing like through the nine thousand four hundred level at the moment. Um, but yeah, so we'll see if we can break through and hold this time. I mean, if we do keep testing it, um, and then you would think eventually we'll we'll hold above it, um, or we'll have or we'll test it, and then we'll have a more substantial rejection, more than these rejections were, which just came down to basically the underside of the, of the zone. Um, so yeah, the um, way this is shaping up, um, you I, I am expecting this to basically come down to the bottom of the range and potentially take it out since we are looking like we are struggling but that being said um if this can candle breaks through that candle will break through again everything is just probabilities just what what i observe in price action um over time so obviously what ha what can happen isn't necessarily um what is what would usually happen so yeah we can easily break it for this and get over um, but yeah, but like I said, what I think is more likely is that um, we've struggled with this enough. We've hung at the top. We haven't got over. Um, yeah, I mean, unless we potentially break over on this push now, um, then yeah, um, I'd expect us to come to the bottom and then start testing into this into this um, area again, which will potentially send us down to the 8,600 level. Um, on the four hour though, you can see our st stochastics are quite low. Um, so that could give us some, some impetus impetus to the upside um sorry about that, guys i'm just really tired today um <clears throat> see if we can see anything on the 12 hour chart <clears throat> 12 hour chart sort of um what well, was where we left it this morning really um looking like it may cross back to the upside and daily i'm guessing it's gonna be the same it's obviously the same as this morning pointing upwards but looking like it could start to crawl curl crawl down curl down um but yeah pretty much pretty much a game of rangers here um right so over to our range and stop to see what I've been looking at today. Um, so this this the bar overnight when I wasn't awake, um, three about three o'clock in the morning here. Um, it took a short trade, um, and it took a short trade on this candle here. Um, so obviously overnight I have to leave my bot um, on just to take the trade when it wants to take them. Um, I, I do trade um, usually with the range and stop which I um, obviously wasn't able to do um, because I was asleep so the bot takes the trade manually but if I was awake what I'm trying to tell you is that um, I wouldn't have looked to have sold at this, this this mid part of this range I would have at least looked to sell at the top of the range which is basically both of these ranges here but what happened nonetheless it took the stop um, <clears throat> my, and then it did actually get stopped out on this spike up here um literally by um its stop was um was there was literally nine thousand five hundred and sixty two so as you can see we just wicked up <laughs> basically um wicked up um thirty dollars higher um <clears throat> before then coming back clearly back on side on the trade wouldn't have hit the stop at this level here um and then would have gone into profit it's slightly annoying um also um we did have this we did have the sell again here um but i am um, as soon as we just had the spike up and come down i i actually i actually elected again not to take that sell and instead wait to see if we got towards the top of the um, range um because obviously by this point i was awake um half seven in the morning i was up um watching the watching the charts um yeah so i was waiting for the top which it didn't come so i didn't take the sell um and what happened was um we then got the sell here again um and we were pretty much around the same level we had managed we struggled to hit the top of the range this was looking like more the local high so i did take this sell here um and yeah as you can see that was a that was a pretty decent trade um then um then our actual larger time frame flipped to a buy which is not a problem it, it changing into a buy whilst we're in a trade because this is a larger time frame trade and as you can see you get moves up and down quite clearly within the larger time frame 
um, direction. So I was happy staying in the, in the shorter term trade. Um, and then it actually, even before the shorter time frame, managed to flip to a buy to actually trigger a buy because these both have to correspond to green. We then flip back to short again. Uh, <laughs> and then the shorter time frame then clicked into deciding it wanted a buy trade. Um, so what I have actually done now, um, a lot of the statistical edge of this strategy um, is predicated on having the correct larger time frame direction um, sig signaled by this larger time frame dominator um, indicator. But what we've got at the moment is no real trend signified by this signaled by this this um, indicator. So therefore, I'm losing the statistical edge um, of of this um, of of this strategy. So for the time being, until we do get a definite direction, either short or long in this larger time frame, which which it 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 will basically happen in probably like say four or five hours, it will pick a direction probably unless we just stay here. Um, but it will pick a direction. Um, it's quite. It's it's gone 10 p.m. at night here, so um, I will um, just not leave the bot on overnight, and hopefully in the morning I'll have some clear direction. But yeah, that's why I'm doing this, um, because um, yeah, because like I said, um, if we don't have a clear direction here, then I don't have a statistical edge. Um, therefore, um, I'm just gambling. I'm just tossing a coin. Um, do you know what I mean? It'll depend on whether this has flipped to that buy or sell at that point in time and then whether we flip to a buy or sell here and whether that becomes a good trade or not and um, based on whether it even gets entered based on what what direction that is showing um when it yeah when it's just flip flopping about so if you understand you guys you guys understand what i mean you understand what i'm saying um so yeah so that is why so for full disclosure the buy is off but yeah like like i said even this buy trade here bitcoin looking like it's going to push up um, and then yeah, and then we look like we're possibly getting rejected here, um, which is which does um, obviously correspond with our um, our level that we were literally just talking about um, pushing into it and getting rejected and what yeah what I think is more likely we're going to come down. Um, so yeah, overnight I'm afraid I'm going to have to leave the bots off. Obviously, if it was during the day, I'd leave them off for. Um, well, until I observed that it, it it basically took a took a direction, the market did, and then I'd look for entries based on that direction. But that um, isn't isn't what we've got going on at the moment. So there's not a lot I can really do there. Um, so that's it. Not remember, remember, not trading is a trade. Not having a position is a position. Um, so just remember, remember that, guys. Um, there's nothing wrong with being out of the market. Um, you just you've just got to have a process that obviously identifies that time when you do do that um in much the same way it identifies a time when you do take a trade when you do take a, a position so um there you go so anyway so um thanks for listening to that video guys remember um, i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and and that jazz and um yeah i will um speak to you guys soon